Big, big, big NBA day. So I think it's best that Anson Wills is in today. Pistons now have. The Pistons now have a head coach. Maz, take it away. How about it, man? It was the first guy they interviewed. It's the first guy we all mentioned on the show. J.D. Yeah, Bickerstaff. Is. We all were scratching our head. Why'd the Cavaliers let him go? I mean, he he took him he took him far. Yeah. And this yeah. team was ready to get to the next step. I guess ownership, the general manager in Cleveland thought maybe now I want to get somebody else. And I forgot who even Cleveland brought in, to be honest with you. Uh Kenny Atkinson. Kenny Atkinson from uh the, the Nets, right? Yep. From the Nets. Or, or from no, the Golden Warriors. Golden State. Golden State. Yeah, from yeah. the Warriors. Formerly. So they, the they bring him in. I don't know what he's got that J B don't have, but I'm happy that the Pistons got this guy. This guy can work with a young team. And now they signed a couple of uh, veterans. We'll get to that in a minute. But the Pistons today are a hell of a lot better than the Pistons before they signed Trajan Langdon. That's a fact. That's yeah, factual. before we get to uh, the players that signed the deals that were signed, because there were some deals, and we will talk about that, some familiar faces uh, coming in as well. First thought when you hear the hire, Anson Wells, J.B. Bickerstaff, you know he's done in Cleveland. First thought, J.B. Bickerstaff, he's uh, the Pistons coach. Go. Feels like when we got rid of of Rick Carlisle. Hmm. We get to that point. Indiana feels like they are a team that's ready to ascend and they want to win that Eastern Conference championship. Now, JB has been all over, Yeah, yeah. you know, he's been all over. He's been an interim coach three times. So that tells you that they liked him where he was. They thought they had a problem. They didn't have an issue putting him in charge. Um, when you look at his tenure at Cleveland, he started off as an assistant head coach. The bubble year he takes over was 11 games as an interim coach. Next season, you know, they're under 500. But the last three seasons, this is a, a, a surging team yeah. above 500. It's been able to figure out how to take their young talent and parlay that into playoff success. This guy gets a raw deal, and the Pistons take advantage of it. This just totally feels like Carlisle leaving the Pistons back in what, 03, 04. Yeah, yeah. hey, the last time, don't forget, the last time they signed a, an ex-Cavaliers head coach, it was Chuck Daly. Yes, it was. Just to let you know. Daddy Chuck Rich. Daly. So let's see. There we go. Let's see, see what JB can do uh, with this uh, – Motley crew. Do they have a lamp beer we can steal too? <laughs> Hopefully he can bring in some of that. Uh, that would be nice. Yes, it would. Da- Daddy Rich's skill and what he did with the Pistons in mm. the 80s and the 90s. Mm. First thought is exactly what you said. It talks about the player growth, the player development. I think that's what we've been looking at the Pistons the last seven years or so. Young team, a lot of development and coaches that were not necessarily patient. Look, Dwayne Casey, he didn't come here to coach young guys. He didn't come here to coach babies. And you got to think about that. When he got fired, he did what he could. It's not why he came here. And then you look at Monty Williams throwing a lot of money, throwing a lot of money to come in and coach a team of kids. Basically, it's trying to figure it out. You're trying to figure out these kids, even NBA kids, as we're trying to figure out with Killian Hayes. They work with Jared Allen. They work with Darius Garland there in Cleveland. I like that with Bickerstaff. A lot of hands-on stuff. So you see growth out of those players. That's what you got here. You got Jay Nivey. How are you going to grow him? Kay Cunningham, who we'll talk about in a second. How are you going to grow him as your featured player? How are you going to go Jalen Duran, who missed a lot of time in the last two years? So I think growth, J.B. Bickerstaff, the first thing I saw. And then-